What is going on, everyone? Badger here. Be sure to like and sub, and let's get into this. And I guess it's Star Wars Day, because fresh off of, uh, well, originally, let's point out that, of course, their Acolyte trailer got ratioed worse than any Star Wars trailer, I think, ever. Over, at this point, like 800,000 dislikes. And now, shockingly, the day after we find out that Star Wars under Lucasfilm, or Lucasfilm, Star Wars, Disney, whatever, never actually paid for their original purchase of four billion they never made but they're 2.8 billion short of making that back well here's their star wars outlaws that's getting lampooned uh for multiple reasons uh ubisoft star wars outlaws faces massive backlash over absurd release pricing protagonist in game model looking worse than the real world actress and then just a general negative feeling towards star wars uh, and so in the latest instance uh, of a franchise suffering under Disney's ownership, what franchise hasn't suffered, uh, the upcoming Star Wars Outlaws video game has found itself facing an outpouring of criticism for its continuing of some of the video game industry's worst modern day design trends. First announced back in June 2023, Star Wars Outlaws recently re-entered the public discourse thanks to the release of both its official story trailer and details regarding its various retail editions, both of which have been met with scathing reception from players. Using third-party plugins to view dislikes, one can see that at the time of this article's writing, the upload of the trailer on Ubisoft's own YouTube channel has a like-to-dislike ratio of 415 36,000 likes to 135,000 dislikes across 1.96 million views meanwhile the upload posted to the official star wars channel holds a ratio of 34,000 likes to 56,000 dislikes across almost 772,000 views while the story trailer developer breakdown notably poses its own ratio of 27,000 likes to 75,000 dislikes so no no one wants this not even the even if you just say that it's our uh, vocal community and all that no 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 the general public at large is rejecting both this and star wars at this point uh the reasons for this backlash are numerous uh per comments regarding the game made both on social media and on its respective trailer uploads the main points of contention players are having with star wars outlaws artistic direction and its absurd monetization schemes i, I think upwards of like 130 dollars if you get like the largest version of the game and still 80 at the cheapest uh though not the first appearance of protagonist k -Bess, Social media honed in on the fact that the latest trailer, her game appearance in the latest trailer, is noticeably much less flattering compared to the physical model and voice actress uh, Humberly Gonzalez. Uh, while many accusing the disparity of being proof that developer Massive Entertainment were attempting to follow various DEI recommendations in uh, design regarding the avoidance of the male gaze. Uh, for example... Response to the fuming critics that KVS appearances were fucking insufferable. Uh, give me Banhammer shared an image showing how much more accurate EA and Respawn's entertainment. Yeah, and this is what everyone is. Look at the difference between how accurate Cameron Monaghan as Cal Kestis is compared to whatever the fuck they did right there. Yeah, that's intentional. All right, technology has gotten better, not worse. So. so. Unfortunately for Ubisoft, this backlash was only amplified following the real, uh, reveal of the price tags for each of the game's three retail options. For the standard edition, players will need to fork over a worryingly growing industry standard of $70 plus tax. Uh, then there's the gold edition, uh, which for the price of $110 gets the players the same game, but also three-day early access. The Kessel Run Cosmetic Pack, which includes one skin apiece for KVS's speeder and her starship, the Trailblazer, and the game's season pass. And that's the other reason people were fucking tired of season passes, uh, which notably grants the player the ability to play an exclusive mission, Jabba's Gambit. Finally, for a whopping 135 bucks, players can take home the Ultimate Edition, which will probably be 20 bucks in six months on a sale. Uh, offering including not only all of the above items, but also access to an extra Kessel Run skin for Kay and her alien. So for an extra skin, Jesus. 
and the digital art book. Sure. Uh, while these two transgressions may be the main targets of players' ire, the game has also been privy to a wide variety of lesser-known controversies, including the accusation that Ubisoft engaged in a bot army to generate interest, and that basically got proven, uh, a bot army to generate interest in the title, and developer Massive Entertainment's recent turn to promoting their respective eco-friendly and gender equality initiatives, i.e. E ESG, DEI. A uh, particularly worrying move given Ubisoft director uh, has previous declaration that the players should get used to the idea, right, <clears throat> of relying on digital storefronts for their collections and not actually owning their games. And it's set to emerge in August. And I will not be playing this game, obviously, for multiple, multiple reasons. One of which, of course, being that two-year moratorium on video games. I got plenty of games in my back catalog to play. Um, currently going through all the Fallouts again. I'm on Game of Game of the Year Edition Fallout 3, probably like 50% of the way through that. And then I'm going back through New Vegas. So that's a long way to say also, ain't no one got time for your shitty Disney Star Wars. You have been fully and wholly rejected by every single quote-unquote Star Wars fan, be it new or old. No one wants your shit anymore at Disney, and you're definitely not going to be ever making back that $4 billion you made. So enjoy that $2.8 billion loss on the purchase of Star Wars because you failed in every single way regarding it. Let me know what you think of this. Make sure to like, share, and sub if you've done that. Thank you. If you're going to do that, thank you. And Well, bye.